Also, we have uh, been joined by Mr. Mathur from Angel uh, Broking. Uh, Mr. Mathur, uh, good evening. Uh, sir, your first thoughts and also how quickly do you think the exchanges MCX or NCDX will be in a position to start a trading in options because they will have to put in the required infrastructure and also quickly I should ask you, sir, clearing corporation would be an important aspect in all this because three years had been given to the commodity exchanges to form and clearing corporation. Do you think for coming out with option, the clearing corporation would be a prerequisite and that needs to be in place before uh, co commodity exchange is allowed to uh, trade in options? Yeah, absolutely. See, uh, uh, it, it's a very good move and it is a much anticipated move. We are waiting for new products to come in and I think the options would play a very critical role in providing depth to the commodity derivatives market. We only had futures till now and uh, with the introduction of options, I think uh, they're going to go a long, long way. Uh, with respect to uh, the implementation by the exchanges, I think uh, what I am understanding from the exchanges, uh, let it be MCX or the NCDEX, uh, they have been doing all the testing and everything for launching the platform on options. And I think that they are ready uh, for, uh, for the immediate action to be taken since it's been approved now. But I think uh, it's, it's a clearing corporation question of yours also definitely. I think uh, it's a must. Three years is a pretty long time. But I think with options coming in, the exchanges might be able to do it in, in less than three years because that, that's very important. Uh, so overall, last 14 years of the market existence, uh, uh, we've been looking forward. Uh, and I think uh, it's, it's, it's been a great news if uh, options definitely are coming in. Uh, which will help the markets to grow and at the same time the hedgers, the corporate participation also to, to, to manage their price risk effectively. Also, I would uh, like to get in Mr. Kunal uh, Shah at this point of time. Mr. Shah, thanks for sparing this time. So, now options going to be a reality uh, very soon with market regulator giving the go-ahead. From the product perspective, how do you see the basket panning out? Because the general feeling of uh, SEBI is that the products where the volumes are there should be preferred maybe in agro or non-agro. But how do you see this? Maybe which are the products in agro and non-agro to begin with that the exchanges would look at? What is your feeling on that? Well, I think uh, on uh, uh, metal international commodity brand, uh, gold, silver, crude oil, and to a certain extent copper uh, deserves the case of uh, uh, starting an option. I think in this four commodities, volume have been pretty robust, and I don't see any uh, reason why these four commodities should not be included. And on the agri front, I believe soya bean, soya oil, uh, these two commodities present a very strong case, and to a certain extent, goar seed. These three commodities on agri front deserves a very strong case uh, to start with option because the volumes in all these seven commodities which I've just mentioned have remained robust over several years and uh, with the introduction of uh, options, I think the volumes will surge a bit further. Mr. Jane, if I could get you in at this point of time, uh, from the market perspective, say the intermediaries or the other uh, players, how do you see people are taking in this particular new option, a product of options because at the end of the day commodity market for various reasons has not been able to say increase the depth and the penetration would this be a game changer in that sense going forward definitely yes it could be a game changer for the entire market and participant because uh, the option will uh, give a confidence to uh, the each and every participant of the market and uh, this will be a new product. We'll uh, also uh, bring in a new uh, new client base on the market platform, and uh, this will definitely a uh, game changer for the entire market and participant going forward. Mr. Shah, how do you uh, see this uh, from, uh, say, the products uh, as uh, Mr. Shah was also uh, pointing? Mr. Mathur, if you could uh, guess what would be the products that you are looking at and would you like to put a time frame, say, uh, three months is what you would be expecting the exchanges to be ready to begin uh, options? Absolutely. I think uh, two or three months time frame is uh, fine for the exchanges to launch option contracts on various commodities. But I somehow quite differ with uh, what uh, Kunal was saying about for every commodity. In that thing, so we need uh, the commodities uh, which have liquidity and which are widely traded across international space. I think uh, soya complex, uh, soya oil or soya bean, uh, the two agro commodities would be fine. I would not go in, would like to go in for commodities like guar and all. 
bit of narrow and which have uh, means uh, they are not wider uh, in terms of uh, participation. It's they are narrow commodities. Although they do volume, but I think so we need to see the liquidity, the depth, the objective, and the subjective factors uh, to to uh, to take care before launching uh, the option contracts on various commodities. But for the non-agri commodities, I think uh, uh, the gold would be one uh, which I will look forward to. And the second would be crude because of the volatility. Gold has good volume; it is uh, largely derived from international space. Uh, and uh, at the same time, the crude too has a volatility which will help people to 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 manage their price risk effectively right. through options contracts. All right. All right, uh, Navin Mathur of uh, Angel Broking. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out to join us uh, here as this big piece of breaking news. Uh, uh, Arise the channel. We do. Uh, of course, thank you, uh, Vijay Ganesh Nayar and uh, Kunal Shah, uh, all three of you gentlemen, and Manoj Jain as well for putting into perspective uh, the commodities markets having a new set of norms uh, governing them exactly a year after the merger of FMC with uh, SEBI. And with that, we need to wrap things up here on the session of ETI News First at Four. Thank you so much for watching. This is Krishna Kumar signing off.